So we are here today with Associate Professor Arjun Mohan, and we're going to be talking about asthma. Um, Dr. Mohan, would you be so kind to tell us a little bit about your research interests and your career interests, and then we're going to dive into ATS 2023. Absolutely. Hi, Phil. Thank you for having me today. So um, my research interest centers around asthma. Um, at the core of it, I'm a clinical trialist. So I love being involved in um, clinical trials to explore novel therapies. But my research interest extends along all aspects of clinical asthma. Uh, more recently, I've developed a fascination with risk prediction. So hopefully, over time, I can figure out some risk prediction models that help us identify active time uh, antibodies. Uh, and let let let's get to ATS twenty twenty three. Right? What were what were the biggest hottest topics that everyone was talking about in asthma this year at ATS? Yes, I think uh, ATS hit upon three areas when it came to asthma. Um, the use of inhaled corticosteroid bronchodilators as behavioral therapy, um, the impact of asthma in the context of racial and economic disparities and how we can better improve access to care. And finally, um, better assessing biologics in terms of response to therapy. So let me walk you through all three areas. So uh, the whole approach to reliever therapy has been revolutionized in the last five years or so. Uh, but more recently, we're getting more creative with how we can use different inhalers available out there. So we've heard a lot about inhaled corticosteroid for mutual being used as a reliever, but now we also heard about inhaled corticosteroid short acting beta agonist as a single inhaler being used as a reliever strategy. So there was a lot of debate about it, um, debate comparing the old inhaled corticosteroid for metrol with the inhaled corticosteroid albutol, debate about how we can expand um, the reach of these inhalers, how we can better deploy them, and of course, the economic and, um, and environmental impact because there's some concerns about those things as well. Um, there are ongoing concerns that despite all these advances in asthma, we're leaving a lot on the table in terms of not getting to the highest risk patients out there. Uh, we do want to help people at risk for bad outcomes, particularly those from vulnerable communities, um, racial minorities and lower socioeconomic status, for example. So there are conversations that are going on about how we can improve our delivery of care in asthma. The, the world of biologics saw a lot of interesting data being presented as well. Uh, folks were presenting data about different biomarkers and how we can better use them to identify patients better. Folks were presenting response to therapy data on patients based on various clinical characteristics or biomarker profiles. And folks were also doing good, earnest efforts to quantify rates of remission, which I find truly fascinating. So remission is a concept simply put of being disease-free in terms of clinical care, as well as potentially lung function after you go on biologics. It was almost an unattainable measure for the longest period of time, but in the world of biologics, that's become very possible. So we've seen people going into remissions and there was a lot of data being presented about rates of remission, characteristics that kind of uh, predict remission in patients, but also on the flip side, characteristics that predict for response. So the, I, I suspect this will be an ongoing conversation um, for the future. And speaking of the future, what do you think, if we're looking at uh, ATS 2024, for instance, what what are the hottest bits of research that are currently ongoing that we might see some presentations about at ATS 2024? A little bit of a crystal ball, but uh, what, from your opinion. Oh, absolutely. And, and so you must forgive my biases here because I'm involved in some of this work. But um, we want to see exciting data being presented in the precise trial. So the precise study is an uh, NIH-sponsored study that's using biomarker-based uh, information to devise targeted uh, interventions in asthma. It's an ongoing study, but uh, it's close to getting in some uh, interim analysis done. We're also going to see exciting new data being presented with biomarkers under investigation. Biologics, I call it, biologics under investigation, um, such as we have the ongoing SWIFT and NIMBLE studies that are looking at ultra-long mapping versions of the model. Uh, finally, there's always hope and aspiration that we continue the conversations with 
anti-inflammatory reliever therapies. This is still a new space. The results of the Denali study, that's a study where they looked at mild and moderate asthma patients and evaluated albutroglycinide combination inhibitors, but just presented as ADS-2023. But we want to look at the full data. We want to look at the final outcome. So that's to be determined yet. Super. Dr. Mohan, thank you so much. Really great summary of what was happening at uh, ATS 2023 and a little glimpse about what might be coming down the line at ATS 2024. Thank you so much for your time and uh, we're we're really looking forward to to seeing some of those results uh, pan out over the next year. Absolutely. Thank you for having me, Phil. My pleasure.